My name is Ilias Benani. Growing up, I was overweight and I lacked confidence. I was into drugs and alcohol at the age of 13. And at the age of 16, I started my self-improvement journey and I turned my life around. Now I'm 21 years old, I have my own marketing agency, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm on a mission to live amongst the top 1% of men and in this show I will teach you everything I learned along the way. This is the 1% men. Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In the previous video we talked about the science of low testosterone. And now you're thinking about yourself as I introduce the topic, okay, how can I boost that? Um, so in this video I'm going to talk about the seven signs about how to boost your testosterone naturally. You have a lot of methods to boost them uh, unnaturally or in a different way, but I'm going to talk about it naturally specifically. So the first one is lose weight helps a lot to increase your testosterone that's why um, going to the gym or running is good for testosterone also how less fat you have on your body how high your testosterone will be and how fitter you will be as a person also um, there's such a thing like too low body fat and that's number two actually too low body fat if you have too low body fat it means that you're like the people that you see on television that are shredded have veins everywhere it can mean is a sign of that they have a very low body fat level and you have people with also a little bit muscle and low uh, body fat but you have a lot of people that have high muscle but low body fat but these people if you ask them how they feel they feel very shit uh, why is that? Because the testosterone levels drop if your body fat drops also. So it's good to have a range or in the range of 12 to 15 percent. That's a f pretty good if you have something like that. But below that it's unsustainable most of the times and you don't feel good because your energy is low and your testosterone will also become low. So the third one is take some extra vitamins from supplements. Um, or take some more fruit because obviously you get you get your vitamins from the normal food that you eat on a day but never too bad to get some extra vitamins make sure your body works perfectly or make it work even a little bit harder and the result of that is that your testosterone will also be uh, built up in, in a long-term way so and you'll keep healthy you'll make sure every vitamin you have in your body is enough and that you don't uh, miss anything because you have some days that you miss or you don't eat a lot and you miss a lot of vitamins so these extra vitamin supplements i take them myself daily they help to give you that energy that you miss if you don't eat enough so four i think this is one of the most important ones reduce stress and we live in an in a time that stress is a normal thing, everyone has stress, a lot of things on their head. You have to work hard for your boss maybe, maybe your business and it gives you a lot of stress. Maybe you have problems at home with your girlfriend or something else. But stress has a very big negative impact on, on your hormone levels. So testosterone is one of them that causes to drop down hard and it's not good. Uh, and that is something that you want to keep balanced. So stress levels, you cannot, maybe not delete them at all, but you can keep them balanced. Make sure that everything is managed good and your stress levels are uh, keeping okay. So number five, actually is something that can help number, number four is reduce stress, is get better sleep. A lot of people sleep bad, they sleep too much, too little, and most of them sleep too little actually. But what you want to do to help this problem or solve this problem is to get a rhythm for your sleep. Uh, so you wake up every day at seven and go to bed at 10. Uh, but don't do this every day like a different rhythm. So, so don't go uh, every day without with a different rhythm. So not one day at 10 and then the other day uh, 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and then just wake up at different times is not good. It's you don't, you don't your body needs a rhythm or like a structure what you also as a person needs in your real life, like in your daily life. 
it needs some kind of structure. Without a structure, you create chaos, you create a bad rhythm, it leads to bad sleep, which leads to low testosterone, high stress levels, and high stress levels lead, uh, leads also to um, an increase of body fat in the long term. So as you see, all these dots are connected. That's something if you can make sure that one problem solves, so you focus on one first, and can lead to multiple issue solving things. So we have number six, which is something normal in our current lifestyle, is the consumption of alcohol and cigarettes, uh, especially alcohol. Alcohol is a big factor that can cause uh, low testosterone. So you want to reduce that kind of intake or kind of consumption to get your high uh, testosterone boost. So number seven, lift weights. It's something that I think is the most uh, beneficial, most influential one that solve a lot of the most problems you have with low testosterone. It doesn't have to be every day have living, uh, lifting heavy weights. You can do that you do every day. 50 push-ups, 20 push-ups, do some squats, all body weight, you don't need any uh, any dumbbells or something, but it's something that gives you a lot of beneficials or benefits um, and you lose weight. So that's number one that we talked about. So that's something if you do that, that gives you a higher testosterone level, uh, you decrease your body fat, but don't have too low body fat. So it fixes also that one. Uh, if you combine it with number three, taking your vitamins before you go working out, um, it's, it's also have number three with it and gymming and working out is also something that reduces stress so it fixes fixes number four automatically and if you do it late at night it will fix your sleep also um, and then you have number six reduce consumption of alcohol that is only something you can fix yourself but number seven yeah have five points in one if you do it correctly and if you yeah do it before you sleep you can fix your sleep also so th these were the seven points if i can give some advice uh, that i want to give before this video ends is to start with lifting weights that is something that can improve every area of your life so if you're physical strong you'll be mental strong it will develop some kind of mindset will help you to develop all these other goals that you have so number seven is the most important for me. And uh, if you want to try something, start with number seven and the rest will follow in my point. Okay, I hope that you got enough information. Everything is very understood. If you have any questions for me, I am very happy to answer that. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it, which one you're going to uh, implement in your life or which one you already tried and I will read through them and I will react on that as soon as possible. So I'm excited to see you in the next video guys. This, this was it for today and uh, bye bye.